Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Nano 11, which is supposedly a competitor to Tiny 11. This was recommended by a viewer on my community page, so thank you for them for recommending me this operating system. There's a lot of fun stuff you can find on archive.org, and this was just one of them. So let's jump into this strange and crazy OS, and let's see what we can find. So I already went through the installer just to save a little bit of time for us. The out-of-box experience looks pretty regular to Windows 11. Um, I haven't seen anything really out of the ordinary yet. It is running to check for updates right now, um, which some OSs, some custom OSs do cut that out in order to save space. So let's see what happens here. So once it's asking us for a username, we're just going to call this Nano11. We're going to skip the password because we don't need it. The one thing I do like is that it automatically just skipped over that Microsoft account, which is great because, you know, who wants to use a Microsoft account on a supposedly Nano OS? So the one thing I noticed about this OS is that the ISO is actually about 4.2, 4.3 gigabytes, which I feel like that's about the size of a regular Windows 11 ISO, so I'm not really sure what was cut out of this to make it nano. Like I said, I've done no research on this. I'm excited to see what is so special about this OS and why it was recommended, if there's anything special about it. And we'll also be comparing it to Tiny11 to truly see if there's anything unique about it or if Tiny11 is still the way to go. Or maybe there's a new champion on the block. All right, and here we go into the desktop experience. This looks pretty much like Tiny11. Uh, before we install any VMware tools or anything, I'm gonna take a look here. We are using 41.1 gigabytes free of 59.2. That, and it's actually going down. That is 19 gigabytes roughly. That is not good. We're gonna go ahead and install VMware tools. Um, so then we're going to take a look at a, th a thorough look at this operating system, but 19 gigabytes that is definitely not even competing with n Tiny 11. I think I can't remember is that actually what like the real Windows 11 takes up? I don't know, but Tiny 11 does way better at compressing and removing stuff from the installation. I mean, we even still have one drive here in the desktop. All right, so let me just turn this off, and it should there we go auto scaled perfectly. So. Let's take a look at this operating system. So let's start by noticing that there's minimal icons on the taskbar. There's no search button, there's no search bar, there's no teams. Um, can we actually see... Okay, so they're just completely gone except search. We can still turn that one back on. But like widgets and the Microsoft Teams, that's gone. Um, over here, we have OneDrive running. Teams is still there, it's just hidden from the start menu. And that's about it. In the start menu by pinned, we already have Edge, Store, Settings, and File Explorer. And in the OS, we have Accessibility, File Explorer, Get Started, Edge, OneDrive, Settings, and Windows Tools, which actually somehow seems less than what is in Tiny11, but yet it is still taking up so much more space, 40.4 gigabytes free. It is still 19 gigabytes. I don't know what is taking up so much space in this machine. Um, Windows Update should still work in theory. Um, I know it worked in Tiny11, but there's some builds of Tiny10 that it did not. Yep, there we go. It's going to go ahead and run updates for us, so that was not disabled. So that's, that's there, there's really nothing in this OS. I'm not really sure what's taking up so much space. If we can take a look, well, that's not the right one. If we can do like a temporary storage scan and see like what is taking up, we're using like I said, there's 19 gigs um, under installed apps. I mean, OneDrive that should have been removed. Um, that's it. It's only really showing OneDrive's taking up some space. VMware tools we can exclude that. Probably these because that also wasn't there. Teams. I mean, I'm not really sure why. You know what's so special about Nano 11? that couldn't be included in regular Windows 11. Um, as for the build of Windows this is using, this is using 22H2, 22621.382, so it's a little bit of an older build of 22H2, but as we already identified, it is fully able to get updates. So that being said, this was just a brief overview of Nano 11. I would still recommend Tiny 11 if you're looking for a tiny Windows 11 distribution because I'm not even really sure like what is so special about this with the fact it's using 19 gigabytes. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe from here on here as I do all kinds of different technology videos and device restorations. 
with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.